Hi guys, my name is Kit. In this video, I am going to show you how to score an A in your chemistry exam in Matrix. Here is a quick summary if you somehow don't have time to watch my video. Before I start, here are some notes. I am going to split this video into two parts. What to do before the exam and what to do near the exam. You can fully self-study chemistry in Matrix with this technique. Step 1 learn the concepts. Personally, I learned all semester 1 concepts needed from this channel and semester 2 concepts from this channel. Set a time frame. For example, you want to study for 2 hours. Next, set a target of the topics you want to cover within the time frame. For example, you want to cover 2 subtopics from chapter 1. It is really up to you. Make sure you really understand the content as you watch. As you watch the videos, make sure you make your own notes. Personally, I take screenshots of every slide and write additional notes or notability so that I can refer to them later. Step 2. Recall Immediately after you have covered the topics you set, you should recall what you have learned. Throw your notes away. Recall in your mind what you have just learned from the beginning till the end of your learning. If you fail to do so, refer back at your notes and repeat again until you can recall what you have learned in your mind. Step 3. Recall again. 8 hours later, recall again. However, this time you should write them down. Imagine teaching a 6-year-old on what you have learned. As you teach, write them down in your digital note or a piece of paper. If you fail to recall something, immediately refer to your notes and review. Since you fail, you would have to repeat this 8 hours later. You fail because you are not actively engaged in the first 3 steps. Either that, or the topic itself is too difficult. But it is fine. Just take your time reviewing it over and over again. Just chill and don't get stressed out. Step 4. Practice after you have mastered the topic, you should do exercises. This is a must. You should only start doing exercises after you have completely killed the first three steps. Tutorial books provided by college, as well as a book called ChemFriend, contain a lot of exercises. If you don't have any of them, don't worry. You can also do the past years or exercises in the Google Drive that I will link in the description down below. That's it. And after you are done with a topic, you can throw a new topic into the system above. Just now I have covered what to do before the exam. Let's now cover what to do near the exam. When PSPM is near, all matriculation colleges will come out with their own pre-PSPM papers. When that happens, it is considered near the exam. During this period of time, your main focus should not be trying to understand the concepts because that is what you should have done earlier. Step 1. Do pre-PSPM papers When it is near the exam, you should do at least 10 sets of pre-PSPM papers. The pre-PSPM papers will be available in the Google Drive. I will link the one used by my batch down in the description. I personally did 10 sets or more for each subject. Step 2. Mark your answers after you are done with a set, mark your answers and screenshot the ones you got wrong. You should fully understand the reasons behind your mistakes. After that, you should compile all such questions somewhere, such as color note, notability, or notion. This makes it really easy for you to do future revisions. Step 3. Recall The following day, practice only on the questions you got wrong. If you got it right, here is a medal for you. And you can leave it aside and review it again after 3 days. You can slowly increase the time frame the more times you get it right. So, it should look something like this. 2-3 to three days before your exam, it is important to review all the questions you previously did wrongly. Make sure you can crush all of them before your exam.
you can add in the exercises from your tutorial books for review as well. But this is completely optional. Personally, I only added those from pre-PSBM papers and it was more than enough. You can choose any 10 sets of pre-PSBM papers from whichever college you like. However, I would suggest a maximum of 3 sets per college. For example, if KMK has 5 sets, just choose a maximum of 3. Please like and subscribe for the algorithm if you somehow benefited from this video. That's it. Just make sure you have done at least 10 sets of pre-PSPM papers before you go for your exam. If you have done so and still have plenty of time left, do more sets or just chill and hang out with your friends. But make sure at the same time, you are still reviewing the questions you got wrong. Bye. Just